All right. So this is what we're doing today. We'll be discussing uh, mm, the parts of moles and chemistry calculations then involve solutes and solvents to mix together to form a solution. We'll talk about how to find the concentration of that solution. And we'll also talk about uh, the, what do you call it? The moles bed, the moles of a solute in that solution. All right? Yeah. So moving along, let's start. So what I'm talking about is firstly, what's the solution? Sometimes, I mean, obviously things dissolved in a solvent. Normally, most example, a solvent we talk about is water. So let's take about the most simplest solutions we know. So, and this is obviously stuff that most of you might know, but assuming that you don't, if you take a beaker and fill it up with first water, okay, let's say I say I'm going to put in a hundred cm cube of water. Okay. And I tell you that I'm going to add five grams of NaCl. So the NaCl is the thing I'm mixing in water. That's what we call in our language the solute. That's the technical term for chemistry of something we added to a liquid to make a solution. The liquid is called a solvent. What gets mixed in it. And in most cases, it's water the solvent. It's not the only solvent. There are solvents like uh, alcohols and oils and esters are also solvents. But um, the most things we'll do with the, chem the chemistry that we're doing in A-levels and O-levels mostly will have water as the solvent. All right, and uh, so a mixture of both a solvent, which is the liquid, and a solute. The solute could be a solid, it could be a liquid or a gas. So it could be a solid or liquid or gas. You know, even if you, for example, take the exact same setup, and instead of and like you know, like I take the same exact setup, and I'll say, you know what, I'm not adding any CL to this. I'm gonna pass let's say 2.4 dm cube of HCl gas through this. Both is possible. Both of these will make solutions. So let's talk about the top one is solution A and the bottom one is solution B. In one, I'm adding a mass of a solid. In the second, I'm adding, and I'll write the English part later again so that it's clear, is I'm adding a certain volume of gas. So I'm passing 2.4 dm cube of gas at measured at RTP. So you can either add gas as a solute or liquid or like in the previous case in solution A, a solid. Now in chemistry, we are not concerned with masses as much as we are concerned with moles. So if I'm adding a mass, what I really care about is how many moles is this? If I'm adding volume of gas, I care about how many moles is this. Now, we have done the chemistry where we can convert mass into moles. Then we did the chemistry where we converted the volume of gas into moles. We've done that stuff, right? Uh, now, so the, as far as what we're concerned is, we've defined what a solution is by example, a solid and a solvent. So here are two solutions. A, this is called a solution of NaCl aqueous and B will be called HCl aqueous. Cl just happens to be the, just happens to be the anion, it doesn't have to be. It's just, I just took those samples. And what we need to do for solutions and find their concentration. So here, what we need to do is find their concentration. Iska bhi or iska bhi. That's the goal, all right? That is the goal. Now, uh, Mm -hmm. One second. Uh, if you could just spare me a minute. Uh, is it clear so far what I'm doing? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. So now let's say we want to find the concentration of A and B. Okay, now 
So now I'm gonna actually take this uh, as a sample and take it to the next page. Why? Because this way I can move in detail. So now I'm gonna take this to the next page and paste it here. So let's say I wanna find the concentration of this. Understand the word concentration refers to what? Uh, moles per unit volume or moles of solute. So the way we do this is not density, no, no, no. Density is different. The, the units might seem the same, but it's not the same. Concentration is moles of solute per dm cube of solution. And the formula for concentration, which we use the letter C to denote, is the number of moles of the solute over volume of the solvent. N is of the solute, which is milai hai, and volume is of the total solution. Now you might say, well, that's obviously the solvent, but sometimes the volume changes also. So it's more technically saying of the solution. Matlab, in our example, we have 5 grams of mole and this volume will be done. And we will use the concentration of the So first of all, I don't even know the moles of my solute. So that's the first thing I find. What do I find? The moles. No. I need to find the moles of solute. Now, that is number of moles is mass over what? Molar mass. Now, if we have solute NaCl, hai, so first we even find the molar mass, I need the formula mass. Formula mass kya hota hai NaCl ka? Na ka mass and Cl ka mass. Now look how boring and tiring it's becoming. And that's because it's becoming easier for you to get. So once I have that, I plug them into the mass. Mass is 5 grams. Molar mass is 58.5. Okay. Now, I might, I could have been a little uh, straightforward and I said, you know what? I don't have 55 grams. I took 5.85 grams. Now, I, the reason why I'm doing that is making it a little easier for you. So if mass is 5.85 grams over 55, 8.5 grams, when you do this math, get the moles nickel this me. 0.1 moles. And you might say, well, you have to kyun karib karib kiya. I can create some space also. So, I need the number of moles. Usse pehle mujhe formula mass chahiye tha. To main ye kar leta na. Ye lo. Let me just clear it up. I move it here and here. Ye lo. Maine pehle formula mass nikala. So, let me go back here. So, ye kahani chal rahi thi hamari. We had a solution. We had a mass. I converted the mass into moles. Now. To uh, find the solutes, ka, uh, first I did that. But what do you need? Concentration. Chahiye. Concentration is what? Number of moles over volume. Number of moles over volume. You see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. So. Next part is volume. Now my volume cm cube. Mein hai. Volume tha 100 cm cube. Now you need to be able to convert volume from cm cube to dm cube. Very simply, volume in cm cube over 1000 is volume in dm cube. I need that. Why? Because I have to put this in my expression where concentration is number of moles over volume. Now, number of moles te 0.1 mole per dm cube. Volume kitna hai? 100 cm cube. So basically 100 over 1000. 100 over 1000 by the way comes out to what? If I have to have volume in dm cube, well my volume is uh, 100. You know? So how many dm cube is that? Anybody? That's also 0.1 dm cube. Now 1.1 1 .1 over 1 is 1 uh, in this case, it becomes one mole per dm cube. It just happened to be one mole per dm cube. It could have been something else. The mole per dm cube is the unit for concentration. Never forget that. Some call it molarity also for the same reason. It's moles per dm cube. 
Now, this is how we calculate concentrations. Any questions about this? Anybody? Yeah. Hmm. All right. No questions? Okay. I can I can I can live with that. So now let's look at the B one. Hmm. Can I take that example? I want to change it a bit because I don't want to get the same answer. I don't want to get the same answer in both cases. So what do I do? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's say I say, okay, I have volume is the one I 500 cm cube. Let's make it different, right? So what I need to do for concentration is I need number of moles of my solute and volume. So first I solve for my solute. Uske moles nikalta hum. Because the volume of gas hai, again, there are only two formulas. One is, th ab teen formula ho gaya aapke baas, by the way. Pehle tha, sirf mass over molar mass. Then we did gas. Ka. So gas ka formula kya hai? Number of moles is volume over 24 dm cube. Remember? So we'll do that here. So 2.4 over 24. Both are dm cube. Therefore it works. It gets you 0.1 mole. So now I have 0.1 mole of HCl added to what? 500 cm cube of water. That's my solution. So how do I find the concentration? Well, number of moles is 0.1, volume is 500 over 1,000 because that's what you do to divide it. So it really is 0.1 over 0.5, which will give you 0.2 moles per dm cube. Now you can write it 0.2 moles per dm cube like that or like that. You can write it as indices minus 1, up to you, or like this, so either or. The same thing. All right? Follow? Mm, well, it's writing. I've shared the screen also. Well, I told you the internet is not really helpful today. You know? Maybe I'll stop the camera. Maybe that will work for you. You know? Hmm? Does that work? Okay. Yes, done. Any questions about this? All right, so, so that's the first thing, finding concentration of things. So, you know, if I ask you, Z, find the concentration of when I mix of 30 grams of sucrose whose formula is C6, no, C12, H22, O11 in 200 cm cube of water. And obviously you'll say, I'll need ARs and I'm going to give you ARs. The ARs of copper, oh sorry, carbon is 12. Hydrogen is 1 and oxygen is 16. So, all right. Now, I have given you this. 30 grams of sucrose quickly just for me calculate this. I'll wait for a minute while you all calculate. All right. So the first thing you do is find the MR for C12H22O11, which is 342. Then the next thing you do is find the moles of, of what do you call it? Uh, 
C12, H22, O11. So number of moles is mass over molar mass, which is therefore 30 grams over 342. Now if I take a calculator, 30 over 342 should give you the number of moles is 0 0.0877. Somebody had that three for three significant figures. And that's the number of moles. But then you want the concentration. So the concentration is the number of moles over the volume of the solvent. So now we know the number of moles is 0 0.877 of the solute. And the water is 200 cm cube. So 200 over 1000. You can do that math separately if you want. Which is 0 0.2. So this divided by 0 0.2 should give you 0 0.4385 which is 0 0.439 moles per dm cube. Yeah. Uh, some of you pretty way, way off from what it was supposed to be. Right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Not good, not good. Yeah. Well, doing one thing is incorrect. I mean, that's it. It takes one mistake. So what you guys have, by the way, is this. You have currently three formulae, okay? So you need to remember that. The, now the life will, of moles will always revolve around only three formulae. One for masses. For masses, it will be number of moles is mass over molar mass, which will be small m over capital M. For gases, it will be number of moles is volume over 24 if the volume is in dm cube or volume in cm cube over 24,000 cm cube and just today we did that for solutions now before I do that if you look at this formula c is equal to n over v right so I can rearrange that as this and that's what I want to because I want to make n the subject. So if its concentration is n over volume, then volume into concentration is number of moles. So for masses, I've got this formula. For gases, I've got this formula. For solutions, I've got what? That number of moles is concentration into volume. That's it. Three formulae, and that should be enough. If you're given a mass, you know this is the formula to use. If you're given solution, this is the formula to use. And if you're given gas volume, so it should be saying volume of gases, then it's this formula. That's it. That's all. And the only thing left is the ratio of the equation. So step one, step two, step three. In step one or step three, you will use any of these three formulae. And step two will always be the ratio in the equation. And that's all you'll need to solve s equation questions. And to solve, just to find the moles of one thing from mass, you'll use this formula. To find the moles from volume, you'll use this formula. Or to find the moles from concentration and volume, you use this formula. Or to find the mass from moles, you use this formula. To find the volume from moles, you use this formula. To find the volume or concentration from moles, you find this formula. This is the three formula, that's it. All chemistry calculations are based on these three formulae. I mean, mole calculations. And that's it. That's really it. And you've been able to find concentration like I asked you to. Sometimes what they do is they'll say, okay, find the number of moles. So for example, they'll say, okay, find the number of moles of H2SO4 where I have 250 cm cube of solution of 0 0.25 zero moles per dm cube h2so4 so what they'll do many cases may is they'll give you the volume and concentration and say find the moles so when you have that the formula is n equals to cv always this is derived from c equals to n over v for solutions n equals to cv always so you want to find the number of moles the concentration is 0.25, volume is 250 over 1000. 
and that's it that's simply it this will give you how much 0 0.0625 moles that's literally it they'll ask you to do this kind of stuff any questions about this <clears throat> yeah any questions guys mariam ramesh savi uh blah 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 saad dalawar hood zanoon rahim no no okay hanan hanan any question hanan All right, okay. So they'll give you this. So another thing. So, so find the moles of ten cm cube of point eight to five moles per dm cube NaOH. So how do you find the moles for this? Again, solution: number of moles is n equals to cv. You know you don't have the number of moles, right? He cutting it, Yeah. So the number of moles is equal to C. What's C? 0 0.825. Okay, 0 0.825. What's the concentration uh, volume? 10 over 1,000. So 0 0.845 and 10 and This will give you 0 0.00825 moles. And your calculators might even give it in standard form. And that's form, because in standard form, this will be 8.25 times 10 power minus 3. Both are equally correct, however you feel like writing it. All right. Yes, yes, you can write. It's called standard form because it's standard across the whole wide world. It's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the... He's got the... Dun, 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 dun. No sad, no, 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 no sad, no, 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 no sad, no, 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 no. The unit will always be moles per dm cube, not cm cube, but dm cube. You feel me, son? Do you feel me, son? Because I'm a crazy man. Crazy, crazy crazy but yes i am yes i am he said but yes i don't know why i'm singing i'm singing in the rain okay moving on so how do i use this how do i use this how <laughs> so where will i be using this now let's use them in stoichiometry stoi Geometry. Remember what is stoichiometry? The moles in a reaction. So let's take a look at that. Here you go. Here you go. Dun -dun 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 -dun. See? Dun. So look at this beautiful question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I wish I had the time to teach every subject. I teach every subject, Saad. Yeah. I could teach every subject. I could, at least four, yeah. For sure, easy. Four is easy. Four is the back of the hand. I think five, fifth one also. But time, honey, time in life, too much time needed to make a living. Okay, so sulfuric acid is a strong acid that reacts completely with the alkali sodium hydroxide. So they're talking about this fellow. So assuming that I've already given you the reaction, I'm giving you this reaction. Okay. Okay, me giving it to you already. Here you go. This is the reaction. Yep. Then they're saying sulfuric acid, strong acid, reacts with alkali to produce sodium sulfate. Calculate the volume of. So basically, what they said was find the volume. So for NaOH, 
ये दे डू नॉट नो द वॉल्यूम बट दे नो द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज पॉइंट फोर एट सिक्स मोल्स पर डी एम क्यूब यू सी दैट मोल्स पर डी एम क्यूब दैट्स देर फॉर दैट बिकम्स योर अन नोन गाइस दैट्स योर अन नोन राइट हेयर एंड देन वॉट हैव दे गिवन यू फॉर सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड कंप्लीट न्यूट्रलाइजेशन मीन्स फुल रिएक्शन सो दे सेट यू नो वॉट द वॉल्यूम वी यूज फॉर सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड वॉज थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर क्यूब बट इस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन वॉज पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो सिक्स मोल्स पर डी एम क्यूब so this is the concentration and volume of this given that's the concentration and volume of this given what you realize is that that is your known and that is your unknown and this has the same three step method three step method so what do we do in the first step guys come on tell me what do we do in the first step let's go let's go come on come on come on live class what do we do in the first step please tell me Tell me, tell me, tell me. Find the number of moles of what? No, for somebody who is going to ask me, can we not use the unitary method? Well, you can also use the unitary method to calculate the compound interest the loan from a bank gives you. But that takes pages of math, and nobody does that. Same case here. It's like, hey, you know, I don't know. Hey, but can't I tie my shoelaces with my teeth? Absolutely possible. But why would you when you can use your hands? That's that's why I give you a standard way that works by everything. So I don't want to hear, neither do I want to entertain any unitary method because we invented algebra to help with not being able to use unitary method not having to need to use unitary method because it's freaking long that's all it's this is fast this is you don't have to write the english for unitary method and you will never go wrong this is my step and i'm sticking to this step number 1 known and you do it enough times i can do the whole thing on my calculator without even writing it down because i need to know the moles of the known how do i find the moles of the known well it's a solution so i'll use n equals to cv c do i know yes it's 0.606 volume 35.5 over 1000 yeah i don't know just check sabhi if you're right i don't know just check i don't have the answer with me oh i do actually no you're not right you did the opposite no sabhi did something wrong yeah No, so what's point six zero six into? Oh yeah, Sabi, you are right. You are right, Sabi. You are right, Sabi. So, so point six zero six into thirty five point five over thousand. So now this comes out to zero point zero two one five one three moles. This is the moles of H two S O four. Okay. That's the number one. Now, Ramis, when you ask that question, no, there's a reason why no book even has that, because unitary method is not efficient. So even scientists don't do it. Even anybody doesn't do it. Nobody does it. They do this. And I think that in Pakistan, most people don't teach this method for some reason whatsoever. Pakistani teachers believe unitary method is the only way to teach it, and everybody teaches that. I don't know why. it is not the only method it sucks in fact as a method so the coefficients are 1 is to 2 so this cuz you over complicate a simple thing by using unitary method it's a formula you use you don't use unitary method to solve uh, m- uh equations about motion do you you could but you don't you don't use uh, unitary method to solve pressure and density calculations in physics do you so you, why would you do this here Yeah, for Saad, you can ignore it. It's a basic ratio method. If one does this, ten will do this. That's what it means by that. So, when I do this math, the x comes out to zero point zero four three zero two six. Now, what is this? This is the moles of NaOH. And then in step number three, we have to find the the concentration. 
volume, right? Sorry. So 0 0.0, this is NaOH now. All right. 0 0.43026. And what do we know about NaOH? The concentration pump 0.486 into volume. Let me zoom out so you can see. So NaOH was 0.486. We're using that concentration. The moles we got from the last part. So step one was the moles of H2SO4. Step two is the equation ratio, equation coefficient, crossy, 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 multiply, get that. Once you get that, find the volume. This will give you the volume in DMQ, by the way. This formula will always give you volume in DMQ. Mm -hmm. It'll give you 0 0.0885 dm cube, which if you multiply by 1000, gives it even cm cube, which is 88.5 cm cube. You can leave the answer in dm cube or cm cube, whichever you need to or want to. All right, all right, all right. This is how we could use the method to solve a stoichiometry question. I'll give you more, don't worry, don't worry. <coughs> yeah? Yes, you will be given the ARs in the data booklet, boss. Sorry, the last page of the, you will be given the, the ARs in the last page of uh, what you might call it, whatever it is. Now, I'm gonna let you guys try this one. I'll give you one minute, try it in one minute, all right? Yeah, guys, this is the answer for the question. I had forgotten to uh, unpause the recording. So basically, I went through the whole question, but this is the method. So if you guys can see this, you'll have an idea for this method from here. Pause it, see it. I'm going to start the next question I gave everybody to solve right now. All right. And that I'm scrolling down to because I got it. I forgot to unpause the video. Okay. So yeah, how do I solve this, guys? Some have four dm cubes, some have that. Okay, so the AR of magnesium needs to be given, and for that you need the periodic table, and the AR of magnesium is 24. All right? So step number one is mass over, okay? So step number one. It could, could be four dm cube, yes, Mariam. So here is what you literally do is this. You'll first find the moles of magnesium. That's 4.8 grams over, in this case, 4.8 over 24, which gives me 0.2 moles, yeah? And step two is the equation ratio. Remember, step two. The ratio is HCl to magnesium. Unknown to known, their coefficient is two, Magnesium's coefficient in the equation is one. Remember one, one, two, two. That's all you do. The coefficient only comes in step of the ratio. And once I have that, so what do I do? First I found the moles of my known, then the ratio. So magnesium to HCl. Now magnesium is 0 0.2 moles. So when I cross multiply, I get HCl's moles as 0.4 moles. So I want 0.4 moles of HCl. And when I look back at the question, the concentration is 0.1 mole per dm cube. And it's a solution. So my step three should be what? N equals to CV. The number of moles are 0.4. Concentration is 0.1. And we want the volume. And when you solve this, you get volume as 4. Because volume is always in dm cube, this answer is dm cube. You can convert to cm cube if you want, but the volume is in dm cube. Yeah, so this is also solved. So I was saying that I'll solve more questions on Saturday's class on the Noon Academy platform. All of you, please be able to access that. And I also live stream that on my YouTube channel so you can see it there also. All right, but if you have questions, you should ask them in the Noon Academy platform so I can solve them. Our goal will be to solve 
past paper moles questions okay yeah that's what we'll be doing got it capish is this seem easy now was this easy guys i hope it was good i'm glad i'm very glad it's that's the point makes moles so easy everybody says what was this whole problem with moles for everybody we don't know so let's spend saturday doing more of that all right tomorrow is no class friday saturday we have class tomorrow is a public holiday in pakistan nobody's teaching tomorrow i'll see you guys saturday then all right you get me this whole week saturday you get me all right okay khuda hafiz everyone enjoy your small weekend